So, as some of you may have noticed in the last video, I know Cappy did, um, I no longer have the stack exhaust on my Sears Suburban. And I will tell you why. See what happens. I'll show you the way I routed the pipe. So the back of the front cylinder, there's really not a whole lot of back pressure on it because all it has to do is come out through this 90 and then it's a straight shot out here. Then it's a 90, then the stack. So that's all taken care of. If it was a single cylinder, running the exhaust just like this would be perfectly fine. The problem is the back cylinder because what it has to do, it has one 90, two 90s, this is essentially a 90, so three 90s, then a fourth 90, then it has to go through the stack. So this back cylinder has way, way, way too much back pressure on it. Um, and essentially what's happening is it's not burning all the gas that's coming into the combustion chamber, which means that <clears throat> when you have more gas than you can burn, the spark plug gets fouled and then it doesn't run right. And when it did run, it didn't run really good. It doesn't, really, it doesn't run half as good as it does with this. So by removing the stack, I eliminate you know, uh, another 90 degree and then whatever it is, two and a half feet of pipe that this back cylinder has to overcome in addition to all this. So uh, the plan is going forward, uh, there's a really good local exhaust shop that I'm going to have this taken to and just have them run pipe out to here. And basically where this union is, there will be a T junction, very similar to this, and then the pipe will just come out there. And there will be two good things about that. Um, one is that, in theory, by centering the pipe in between the two cylinders, they'll have equal uh, back pressure, and we'll both, you know, both be able to fire and run, and then I'll be able to keep running the stack on it. And the other good thing is that this is all pipe fittings, which is really, you know, heavy metal. Um, and what they're hopefully going to be using is just exhaust pipe, which is much, much, much um, thinner and lighter than this stuff is. So not, it'll be you know, less of a strain on the threads and the heads, and also bracing it will be really easy because there won't be a whole lot of weight to brace. Um, so that's what's going on with the exhaust, and I'm hoping, I think the game plan for now, just because this really is my only snow machine since my SS-15 is at Will's house, um, I'm not going to change anything with this until after snow season because I don't want to mess with this because it you know, runs really good and it plows really good. So I think come springtime I'm going to you know, invest whatever it is, 50, 60 bucks and take it to them and have them uh, you know, do that up and stuff. And uh, hopefully that will be the end of my exhaust problems. But for the time being, the stack is just chilling out over here with the plug wires I used. And Super 12 with the Slip Force Tacky mounted up. It's coming on kind of slowly, but not much I can do. But anyway, that's uh, mostly for you, Cappy, and several other people who are interested in this. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to have it taken to an exhaust shop and uh, done the right way. Oh, and Bill? These uh, plug wires don't even touch the exhaust. They're fine. I checked them today. They're not touching or, you know, coming into contact or anything. So I think that's all fine. But that is all 